Christmas. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. But here with you today, very, very Merry Christmas to you. We're just two days to Christmas. We should be Christmas shopping. We're not. We are cleaning our coops today. Holy moly. So I thought I would drop off a quick video for you. Throw my glove down here so I can hold this. And talk about something I've been thinking about as we've been cleaning this. is You know, a, a lot of you would probably say, well, now, Tara, the winter solstice just happened, honey. You should be using the deep bedding method. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. This video is not judging methods in which you should or should not use for your coops or for your farm. I've told you for years, you should always do what's best for you, your family, and your farm. For us here in the southeast side of Tennessee, we get a ton of rain. We've really had a lot of rain in recent years. We have very wet winters. We get more wet than we do snow. It's very frustrating. It's the weather I absolutely hate because you just have mud, 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 mud. Mud, 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 mud. You can't get around it. So on days like today, which we do tend to have, you know, some breaks here and there, We'll bounce up in the high 40s and 50s. We'll get some sunshine for a day or two. It is better for us if we choose to take some time during those days to really clean. Um, the deep bedding method, I really want you to investigate and think about, does it work for you or you and your area? I'm not so hot about it, okay? Now, and let me tell you why. Because we go in and out of cold, freezing, back up to hot, and I've noticed that we tend to think, well, this is, this is working, this is working. And it gets really gross. <laughs> it gets grosser than I think that I would prefer for it to be as a chicken even. You know, and I'm always cautious about mites setting in, things like that. We don't have that kind of issue. We don't have a mite issue. We don't have any of those things that happen. And I think that's because we're pretty devoted to trying to keep things as clean as possible. So we've come in today, I know the lighting is weird. This is my double-sided coop, and I have literally just stripped it down. I have literally taken everything down, taken it out, all the cobwebs, taken out all the bedding, took out all of the uh, nesting boxes, and we have sprayed them, we have cleaned, we have done everything that we can. We've come back in with DE, we've come back in with all new pine shavings. I will put in straw. I do believe that straw in the winter months and keeping a good portion, a good load of that on hand is important. Now remember, I don't live in Vermont. I don't live, uh, you know, in Wisconsin. I live in southeast Tennessee. So we get a lot of mild temperatures, which means critters in funky town can really show up, okay? I mean, you know, we can be so warm sometimes. Uh, even last year, I wasn't sure we were ever going to get rid of the fleas in the yard. Okay, I mean, seriously. So the encouragement here is to encourage you to pay attention and to think about, we see videos and we see blogs and we see books and we see all of these things. Whatever that person is saying may be true, true for them, may not be completely true for you. That's up to you, pay attention. So I've cleaned out the nesting boxes and this is a really great thing right here, nesting box blend. I got sent this to me last year, I'm just about out. I wanna show you the inside. I've just about emptied it out. All of these beautiful, it smells so good. Fresh, minty, lavender, precious herbs. Put a little bit in a clean nesting box. I'm telling you, your hens think like they're at the spa. Okay? If you're having a, an issue with your hens not laying eggs already, think about it. They've come out of molt, so you've had to up their protein. Now we've been thrown into winter. That's a, that's a shock in all form. Clean it up. Encourage them with high protein treats and fresh, clean bedding as possible. Now, so I've got down pine shavings. You can see right through here. Uh, I've got my linoleum over in here and whatnot. I'm loving that. I did that video two years ago. I love that. We're going to redo this side over here this spring once it gets hot enough. Love that. Clean bedding. Even if you do prefer to use and kind of stick with some of the deep bedding method. Pay attention to what you're seeing, okay? At least clean the heavy spots. Hens where they roost, where they like to hang out, the nesting boxes. Keep that junk and that funk out, and you will have much happier hens resuming and getting back to laying and being comfortable and healthy in these cold winter months. It ain't over, I know. 
So that's what we're doing today, cleaning, 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 putting in fresh bedding, cleaning out nesting boxes, putting in fresh straw in the runs uh, so that you know they, it encourages them to come out um, and to do the things they need to do. If you have really wet runs, I do right now, you might want to put in a bin with some wood ash, some sand, some DE to encourage them to dust bathe. Why? Because the ground may be too wet and the ground may be too hard. And if that's the situation, then they don't have a place to dust bathe. And so you could develop mites. And then if you have funky town bedding in your coop, guess what's gonna happen there too? No, no thank you. <laughs> No thank you. We hope you guys are doing well this season. It's very busy right now with all the holidays. We've had a lot of great videos. We've been doing a lot of mission work. We've been doing a lot of homeschooling. Uh, we've been doing a lot of things with uh, the Cherokee language and with Trail of Tears. So that's what you've been, I've been trying to catch up on videos, all that stuff and family business. So we're cleaning the rabbit cages. We're getting everybody squared away. And this evening we can finally kick into full gear for the Christmas mode. Remember the reason for the season. We thank you so much for all your blessings. We hope you have a wonderful season with your family. That cow is calling my name. Can you hear? Woo! Got a lot of great videos and a lot of great things coming to you about the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference 2019. Remember, if you don't know anything about this, I'm going to drop this little tidbit off for you too. If you are a veteran or if you are U.S. military, you're going to be free. Tickets are free for you for the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference coming May 25th in Cookville, Tennessee at Hyder Burke, which is the huge indoor ag pavilion at Tennessee Tech University. Cookville. Love you guys. Have a great Christmas. I'm going to get this finished up real quick with, with some straw right on top of the pine shavings, but we're going to pay attention to how it goes. We'll talk to you soon. We love you. See you on the next video. Y'all take care out there.